Yo, I got a seven leg parlay, seven picks, trying to turn 15 bucks into approximately 5,000. No reason we can't go seven for seven tonight. So I'm going to take you through this parlay. Let's get into it. So first of all, parlays can be really profitable, right? I've made videos previously breaking down the math behind parlays, parlay odds, and how parlays work, right? The truth is, is most people, 99% of sports bettors, they can't even figure out how to make money long-term betting on straight bets. So they're definitely not going to be profitable betting on parlays where there's numerous picks in a play if they can't make money betting on straight bets, right? So long story short, if every play in your parlay is profitable, this really is all it boils down to. If every play in your parlay actually has an edge, if every play in your parlay is profitable, then your parlay will be profitable. So you can see the first pick that I'm going with in my seven like parlays in the Warriors-Kings game. I'm on pool under 20 one and a half points plus rebounds plus assists. So you can see we're getting a crazy good profit margin on this 4.54%, right? Really high profit margin. Cause what you have to remember about sports betting is these returns are daily, right? This game is tonight, right? People talk about, Oh, the stock market, you can get 8% returns in a year. And this is why sports betting can be so profitable is in sports betting. These returns are daily, right? Even if you just have a 1% profit margin betting on the NBA, there's like what 82 games in the regular season, 1%, even if you just had a 1% ROI betting on the NBA during the regular, regular season, that would be an 82% ROI, right? Because sports are basically every day. Um, in the MLB, it's very similar. 162 games in the regular season. You have a 2% profit margin betting on the MLB. You know, that's 324% over the course of a season. So this is why sports betting can be so lucrative. But anyways, the first pool, the first play I'm on is Jordan Poole under 21 and a half PRAs, right? And the value is as clear as it gets, right? We're getting this at minus 110 odds on Fliff. Fliff is where I'm placing my parlay. Uh, you can look at any sports books you want on Odds Jam, but I'm currently in California and Fliff is an 18 plus sports book available in basically every US state, right? In California, there's no DraftKings, no FanDuel, no Caesars, no BetMGM, but there's Fliff. And you only have to be 18 years old to sign up for Fliff. So it's kind of like, you know, changing the game. It's a, it's a new platform because it's an 18 plus sports book that is legal in almost every location. So you can see here, there's very clear value on pools under 21 and a half PRAs, right? You can see DraftKings and Caesars are both pricing this around minus 135 along with BetRivers, Bovada. And then you can see Pinnacle, which is known to be the smartest, the sharpest sports book in the world. They're pricing this at minus 155. So I say this all the time, but as a smart sports better, a sharp sports better, if you want to make money, you're just hunting through the market and you're looking for value, right? You're like a day trader. You're like an investor. You're hunting through the market and you're looking for an edge. You're looking for value. And what's crazy about sports betting, what makes sports betting, you know, so fun and also so lucrative is all these books, right? They're all trying to set lines independently, right? They all try to do it themselves. So you essentially have numerous data points, dozens of data points usually telling you where a line should be set. And here, you know, all the sports books, including Pinnacle, the smartest sports book in the world, the sharpest bookmaker, they're all saying, yo, Jordan Poole's under 21 and a half points plus rebounds plus assists should be priced at like, you know, the under should be pretty heavily favored, priced around minus 140, minus 145 odds. You're getting minus 110 on Fliff right? Crazy value. You're getting 45 cents of improvement from the smartest sports book out there. You know, it's kind of like if there were dozens of prices for a stock, right? Like another way you can think about it is imagine Caesars is telling you, hey, this stock, Jordan Poole under 21 and a half PRAs is worth 133 bucks. DraftKings is like, yo, this stock's worth 135 bucks. BetRivers, 136. Pinnacle, we put more weight in their market because they're the smartest sports book. And they're like, hey, this stock's worth 155 bucks. And then as a sharp better, it's like, do you want to buy this for 110 bucks on Fliff? And it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, we have a bunch of videos about how to break down your profit margin. So here again, the profit margin is 4.54%. But if you just want to think about this logically, you know, you have numerous data points, dozens of data points usually telling you where a line should be set and you're looking for discrepancies. You're looking for value. You're looking for where sports books are screwing up and you can pick them off, right? And you can see here, Fliff is screwing up. They're giving us way too much value at minus 110 compared to the rest of the market. So that's the first play I went with. Then, you know, I say this all the time. I always just follow the data. I took the Mets Dodgers game over 10 runs, right? I ended up taking over 11 in raise red. So take a look at this, right? We're getting over 10 in Mets Dodgers. No other books giving us better than plus 165. Sharpest bookmaker in the world is only giving us plus 159 odds. So it doesn't matter if you're betting on the NBA versus MLB. It's the same strategy. You want to look for value in the market. So I basically just took the top seven plays, some player props, everything from the positive EV tool. And I'll show you my final slip right here. So I got a seven leg parlay. Every single play is positive EV. So I know this seems degenerate. I mean, it is a little, this is a little degenerate. It's a seven leg parlay. But the core concepts of finding value, finding an edge apply, whether you're betting on parlays, whether you're betting on straight bets, round robins. So this parlay has an edge, right? This parlay is mathematically profitable. Of course, we need seven picks to win. So it's not favored to win. It's not like these seven like parlays are going to hit 50% of the time. But if you're looking for those low risk, you know, high reward payouts, you can absolutely make money long term betting on parlays. You're just going to hit your bets less consistently than straight bets, right? If I go five for seven, and if I would have played all these as straight bets, I would have made a lot of money. But I'm playing this as a parlay. So I need all seven picks to win. So I've explained this before, but there's a risk reward spectrum. You can make money betting on parlays, betting on round robins or straight bets. Straight bets are the most consistent. You know, you'll probably win 55, 60% of your bets and you'll make money long term. Round robins are series of smaller parlays. So a little more risky than straight bets. And then parlays, you need all your picks to win. So you can still make money long term betting on parlays but your win rate is going to be lower. Anyways, that was a lot of random words. Here's the parlay. Let's make money.